A convoy of aid from Russia is on its way to Lugansk, a week after local officials declared a humanitarian disaster in the east Ukrainian city. Kiev and Moscow reached an agreement on the mission, which will be led by the Red Cross. Maria Finoshna is on the Russian-Ukrainian border. The humanitarian convoy has already started moving from uh, Russia and we expect to meet it here at the Russian-Ukrainian border within the next 30 or 36 hours. I have to say that this is a very big convoy. It includes around 300 cars and tons of humanitarian aid, including food, drinking water, medicine, blankets and some other things that people in uh, troubled areas in Ukraine may now uh, need in this uh, terrible and very hard situation. Uh, the officials in charge told us that the convoy's itinerary is not yet clear, but they are planning to travel all across the eastern and southern Ukraine, making stops at uh, big and small cities uh, in the country. We just came back from Lugansk in eastern Ukraine, and we have to say that the situation on the ground is very dramatic and very dangerous from a humanitarian point of view, obviously. With the heavy artillery shelling of the city continuing, people have to shelter in the basements. The power station was damaged, and this is why there is no electricity in most of the cities districts. Connection is also very unstable and this is why people cannot even uh, call for help. But it seems that so far the shortage of water is the biggest challenge for the residents, those who didn't flee the city and the country. Let's now listen to these voices from the shelled city. We heard accusations from Kiev that this is not a humanitarian aid, but in such a way Russia is trying to send its troops and weapons uh, uh, to Ukraine. But uh, just on Monday, the Red Cross confirmed that it went through all necessary details and agreements with the Russian side. Uh, also adding that they are also planning to send their own humanitarian aid to Ukraine, but later.